Aside from the state-ranked Elmira Express when it comes to boys' soccer and the Twin Tiers, it's hard to make an argument that many in Class AA are better than the Corning Hawks. They are 7-2 after all. Although tonight in Ithaca, the Little Red were looking to change everybody's mind. Corning visiting Ithaca at Moresco Stadium. We jump to the second half and we join this one. Will Cornfield finding the corner. That's the first goal of the game and Corning leads it one to nothing. But Ithaca would answer out of focus and into the net. Jean Sinon with the goal for the Little Red and we are tied. And this one would head into overtime and with Corning on the attack, I'll let this play tell the story. Evan Crawford, the most popular kid in school tomorrow. He scores the game winner, and Corning takes it 2-1 to one is the final. One other score to tell you about from tonight, Horseheads, Blanks, Binghamton on the road. They win it 4-zip. All right, Cuse fans, listen up. If you bleed orange, you're going to want to check out SyracuseFootballTeam.com. That's the name. It is the all-new website for the Syracuse football team. Go figure. And it's got it all. Access to Coach Marone's Facebook page as well as interactive rosters and schedules. It's definitely a must-see for any diehard orange football fan. To the ice, Cornell Hockey not too far away from kicking off a new season. And one big reason they have such high expectations this season is due in part to the man between the pipes, Ithaca native Andy Isles, that guy making all the stops right now. And the country is starting to take notice of Isles. He's been ranked as the third best goaltender in the nation in the U.S. College Hockey Online preseason rankings. Isles won 19 games in between the pipes for Cornell last season. Well, the lights are on at First Arena. Hockey season is a go, and Dwight Mullen's reign as Jackals head coach is officially underway. Mullen's directed his first few days of training camp as Jackals bench boss over the weekend, running high-intensity drills and emphasizing quick puck movement and speed amongst both forwards and defensemen. And for Mullen's, who's still getting used to his players, he's happy with the possibilities for the Jackals this year. One of the things I was really excited about were the guys that we did have signed and committed here. Um, you know, there's a great core group of guys. They had great success last year. I know that they're hungry to kind of make the next step and take this to the next level. So, you know, we're really excited.